Hello everybody, it's me, Paul Cumes, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your brushes. After a long day of painting, you can see I've got several brushes here. They're all full of pigment and ready to be cleaned. I like to use a lot of brushes to hold different colors and have different sizes to do different things. So I usually end up with about uh, 5 to 10 dirty brushes at the end of each painting session. The work for today is over, so let's go clean the brushes. What you'll need is some turpenoid. Um, or you know some kind of solvent. There are different kinds of solvent you can use but turpenoid is probably the safest for you and the most effective. Uh, so I use it. Here it is, turpenoid. I put it in a painter can like this. As you can see. Flip it around. There we go. Nice and murky. Uh, that should probably be a little cleaner. So you can just take this out here and change that as needed. Then you're going to need some dish gloves, just normal dish gloves you get at the grocery store, and your brushes. You're also going to need some paper towels or some clean white pieces of rag cloth if you have it. Remember, most oil paints are toxic, so you want to make sure to wear gloves and not get too much of that paint on your body and on your fingers and in your coffee and on your breakfast. So first things first, you want to make sure you got the dirty brushes, of course, and then you want to rip off a couple pieces of paper towel. Um, what I do is I go through each brush and I wipe down the pigment off of each brush. Um, I like to use this stuff sparingly so mine gets really muddy um, and I try to use as little as possible. I don't really waste it because uh, it's expensive and it's not that good for the environment. So anyway, I just make sure that I get a good amount of solvent on my brushes once they've been wiped down. And you know for some painting jobs this is going to be a little more time consuming. I was doing a real sort of careful portrait series with these brushes so there isn't too much uh, residual paint built up on them. In fact these ones are going to be pretty easy to clean but you got the idea. So once uh, we get the pigment off with the cloth you want to dip them in turpenoid and then wipe down as much of the pigment that you can. Now as you can see, uh, these are relatively clean as it is. Uh, you could throw them in the freezer and use them next time if you don't want to go through the whole cleaning process. But if you're not going to be painting for a while or you really love to have clean brushes, um, you want to go to the next stage which is actually washing the extra pigment from between the bristles. And you can see here that there is pigment on these bristles. And if I was to just leave these out, um, they would clog up and the brushes would lose a lot of their um, lifespan that way. So we want to wash these suckers. I usually start with the biggest ones first. In this case it would be these two brushes. Uh, and what you're going to need is a bar of ivory soap. I use ivory because it's very pure and inexpensive. You can buy expensive brush cleaner and so on and so, so forth. That's fine if you want to. Um, I don't think it works any, any much better than soap does. You want to get a good amount of the soap on to the brush and inside of the brush. Kind of rub it around in there. Then you want to get a little water flow going. You can see the gray and green pigments of these large brushes sort of lift up and melt away. Another little trick, another trick you can use is the palm of your hand with the glove and you can really get a good lather going in there clean out that pigment. Then once you've rubbed it for a little while, you rinse it off and repeat. Using the palm of your hand as a uh, textured surface to clean the brush. This is a good gentle way of cleaning them because um, it doesn't really hurt the brush too bad and that way the bristles won't sort of splay out after a while. If you feel like you could even clean it more you can always go back to the bar of soap and uh, rub it around a little more.
So there you got two nice clean brushes. I'm going to go ahead and do the same procedure to the rest of the brushes. And you can check it out. Nice clean brushes. Of course, oil painting is a lot more time consuming, it's more difficult. Uh, taking care of your brushes becomes much more difficult when you're oil painting. But in the end, it's really worth it because oil paints have a much higher quality and um, a greater luster than acrylic paints. Um, with acrylic paints, you also have to clean your brushes, uh, otherwise, they'll get ruined pretty fast. But the cleaning process is a lot easier and um, a little less damaging to your health. With these oil and the thinner and stuff, with the turpenoid, uh, things can get pretty nasty and um, you want to make sure there's a lot of uh, ventilation in the room that you're doing it in and like I said before you just want to make sure that you don't get too much oil on your skin because it'll just absorb right into your bloodstream and then you'll have nasty uh, chemicals like cadmium uh, in your bloodstream and it might make you a little bit crazy like me. Okay now before we uh, do the cleanup here I want to wipe down each brush with a clean paper towel or cloth. That's just to get any final bits of pigment out of the bristles and also um, away from the handle where buildup can be sort of an issue. So I just wipe them all down one last time. If you're a real freak you can dip them in thinner again or turpenoid again at the end just to make sure that any final bits of pigment are dissolved and will not be coagulating inside of your bristles. The thing you really want to worry about is the bottom of the uh, bristle part where it meets this part um, because a lot of pigment can get caught up in there and then it collects and then within a couple years your brush is history. So if you want to keep your new brushes in tip top shape as long as you can, you always want to make sure that at the base of the bristles here uh, you clean out as much as you can and you'd be amazed at how much pigment can be held in this little area right here. So you got to make sure that's all out of there. Uh, in this situation I didn't really have uh, these brushes too loaded up with color so it was really easy for me to do this tonight. But, let me tell you, sometimes it takes a hell of a lot longer to clean your brushes uh, if they're large and you've been really painting and there's a lot of pigment built up inside. Luckily for me, that is not the case today. So I'm just going to finish cleaning up the final few brushes that I got here from the past few days painting. Like I said earlier, um, while I'm painting and I'm done, if I'm done painting and I don't want to clean my brushes, I'm going to be painting some more later. I usually just take my wet brushes with the paint on them. Uh, I wipe a little bit of the pigment off with paper towel and then I throw them in the freezer. That's a great little secret um, that you can use to uh, preserve the life of your brushes and spend less time cleaning them. Finally, we've got the end product here. Clean fresh brushes ready to be used in your next painting. I hope that was helpful and you don't waste a bunch of money spending it on expensive brushes and then ruining them. Make sure to take care of your brushes because they are your best friend and they hold the soul of your painting within them. So that's Cleaning Brushes with Paul Cumes. Have a great day. Thank you.